Now, we all have podcasts that we love and enjoy listening to. Many of us have started creating podcasts, including schools, teachers, and students. Today, we're going to take back all the time it takes for us to edit these podcasts with an amazing tool by Streamlabs called Streamlabs Podcast Editor. Streamlabs has kindly offered to sponsor this video, so find their link in that description below. It is going to save you hours and hours of editing time. Not only that, it's also going to enable you to upload video footage you already have and repurpose it to turn it into clips, turn it into podcasts, turn it into anything you want it to be. So let's jump onto the computer. Now here I'm on the website, Streamlabs Podcast Editor. You can get to this website by following the link in the description as well as that first pinned comment. Now that is a sponsored link. And so when you click on that, you will be sent to this page right here which gives you access to the free version of Streamlabs Podcast Editor. Now I'm going to click on Login, and this is going to bring me into the Podcast Editor interface. Now you can see here I have the free account, and that means that I can use 60 minutes, 60 minutes a month, and I can upload my podcast, edit it 60 minutes, and then that will refresh. Now, as you can see, when I click on upgrade, you can get access to the Pro and Streamlabs Ultra as well. These are your subscriptions available. I'm going to stick to the free version and click on new project. This new project is going to now ask me what language is spoken. You can see they support multiple languages. I'm going to go with English and click on confirm. Now they're asking me for a video file. This is a video file that has the audio that I'm going to be using for my podcast. Now you can also link to your YouTube, Google Drive or Dropbox link or record with the Talk Studio. I'm going to upload a file. Now you can see I have a video file prepared and so let's upload that file straight to the editor. Now, as it uploads that media, it's also transcribing the file. And that's key because this podcast editor is not only going to give you the option of creating clips and editing your content, it's also going to give you the transcript. And then you can use that text editor to edit your podcast. An incredible time saver, if you ask me. And there we go. You can now see on the left hand side, we have our transcript. On the right hand side, our video footage. Let's go ahead and preview this. We're going to click on play. Hi, my name is Seti and, and there we go. We see a couple of mistakes in that transcript. So let's go ahead and change those. Here you can see it's not really picked up on my name. So what I can do is I can just click on that and I'm going to change that. So I'm going to just quickly replace that with my name. And there we go. Okay, so now we have our footage. Let's go ahead and listen to it. Hi. My name is Seti and this video footage is going to be used to demonstrate how Streamlabs podcast editor works. Now I'm just going to talk about a few things, but what I'm saying is not as important as what you will see demonstrated in this video. See, as I leave long pauses, you will see dots appear on the screen on the left hand side in that transcript. Okay. So you can see here a little bit of hesitation. So as there's long pauses, you will see dots appear on the screen on the left hand side. Now I'm going to cut out this section here where it says in that transcript. So let's go ahead and cut that out. Let's press play side and the transcript is not only going to reflect everything I say, but also add in the ums and the ahs, um, um, other filler words and, uh, Using the tool, you can cut all that out. So let's go ahead and do that. We're now going to automatically cut out those pauses and those ums and ahs. Here on the left hand side, we have a number of tools and the one we're after is the quick actions. So let's go ahead and click on quick actions. This is now going to give us the option to remove pauses and to remove filler words. So let's do that. We're going to go to the remove pauses. So any pause longer than let's say one dot can be removed. So we're going to remove those pauses. It's automatically done that. And we're going to remove all the filler words. There we go. They have been removed. Now we can close the quick actions and listen to the rest of our footage out. Now, in addition to repurposing content, 
you can also use existing video footage. Now that video footage can be used for a variety of different things, such as short form content. You can upload it to TikTok or YouTube shorts or Instagram reels, anything you want by simply selecting the sections of the video that you would like to use for your short form content. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's say that I want to select this entire section here from you can upload down to content. So let's go ahead and select this right here. You can upload it to TikTok or YouTube and we want to turn that into a clip. Well, you can see here, we have the option to create a clip or we can go to the top and select create a clip. Let's go ahead and click on create a clip. This is a 12 second clip from the video uploaded. So let's click on create a clip and it opens up the clip editor. Now here on the left hand side, you see we have that vertical video format that we can use. So let's just make this slightly bigger. There we go. And I would like to use this section right here for that clip. We're going to preview that. So you can upload it to TikTok or YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels, anything you want by simply selecting the sections of the video that you would like to use for your short form content. And that will be the short clip. We can then click on export clip and this exports the clip straight to the editor. You can see here it's preparing the export and this will then automatically export that clip as a short form video. So here you can see it's exporting the clip. Now, as it is exporting the clip, let's carry on and do some more editing. We're going to listen to the rest. You can also use the text-based editor on the left-hand side to go through the transcript and simply cut out entire sections that you would like to be removed. Okay, so you can hear there was a bit of cracking there and it's not really relevant to what I'm saying. So I'm going to remove this entire section here all the way down to being removed. Click on delete. And that's now gone from my video. In the meantime, my short clip has been exported and you can see it right here. So you can upload it to TikTok or YouTube shorts or Instagram reels, anything you want by simply selecting the sections of the video that you would like to use. And there we go. We have our clip ready to be uploaded as a short. I'm going to close that for now and carry on with the edits. Now let's go ahead and remove this entire section and shorten our content. I'm going to click on preview. We have a number of automated tools that can automatically remove pauses and filler words, and you can do everything manually by simply going through the text editor. In addition to that, you can also add graphics onto your footage. Let's go ahead and do that. On the top, you will see we can add elements. Let's go ahead and add an element. Here we can add text, images or various other elements. We can also add in video footage so we can have a video in video and we can add audio. I'm going to go right here to where it says in addition to that and we're going to click on add elements. We are going to add in some text. Here we have our text. We're going to say add elements. We can move this to the top and of course we can decorate it however we want. We can choose the font the text style and color and change the background of this as well. I'm going to leave the background transparent, change it to Anton as a font. Let's go with the dark blue. So we're going to go with the same color as my background here. So let's go ahead and use the, I'm going to go with a dark blue. So let's go ahead and choose that dark blue. And we can even add in an animation for that text. There we go. Let's preview this. In addition to that, you can also... So we're going to go back and preview. Editor. In addition to that, you can... Okay, so we have our text here. Now we want to make it a little bit longer. So it needs to last a bit longer. We can drag it out all the way to the end of the word footage. Now this element will show throughout this entire sentence. Let's try that again. In addition to that, you can also add graphics onto your footage. You can add titles. Now let's add on some subtitles. We're going to go right back to the beginning and I'm going to click on the side where it says subtitles. I'm going to click on subtitles and turn these on. Now we have a number of subtitle settings. We can have custom subtitle length, word by word subtitles, show those breaks or style these. 
So let's have a look at the original style first, and then let's change it. So here's the original. Hi, my name is Seti, and this video footage is going to be used to demonstrate how. So you can see the subtitles are showing at the bottom. I can make these a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and make these bigger so that everyone can read how Streamlabs podcast editor works. Now I'm just. Okay, now let's style them. Let's change it and it has word for word subtitles. You're going to see much shorter subtitles and it's going to be a lot more interactive. So it's going to make it more engaging, better for that viewer retention and much better to help people understand what is being said. So let's go back to the beginning and let's press preview. Hi, my name is Seti and this video footage is going to be used to demonstrate how Streamlabs podcast editor works. Now I'm just going to talk about a few things. And as you can see, word by word appears on that footage. In addition to adding subtitles, you will have noticed that here on the left hand side, we also have a number of templates. So under these templates, we have templates that are built into Streamlabs podcast editor. And these templates will change your footage to get a certain style, a certain feel to them. So you can see here we have lots of different ways to decorate this. Let's go with the bottom one as an example. And you see automatically everything thing. has now been styled to match that. So we're going to click on play from the beginning and let's see what it looks like. Hi, my name is Seti and this video footage is going to be used to demonstrate how... So you can see the subtitles are at the bottom. They have been styled, the background is styled and we have that headline that we can change to match whatever we want it to be. So I can say that this is a demo and now everyone will see exactly what is going on here. We can also use the translation functionality of Streamlabs podcast editor on the left hand side to now translate the content. So let's go ahead and click on translation, turn this on and let's go for the Spanish translations. So let's go ahead and select our translation. I'm going to go with Spanish and let's click on translate. And here we go. We now have our content translated into Spanish. So let's preview. Get started with. Hi, my name is Seti and this video footage is going to be used to demonstrate so as you can see, it's automatically adding those translated subtitles underneath the footage in the language I've selected. I can now do voice translations as well. So let's select the Spanish mail. It's going to generate those translations. Ahora solo voy a hablar de algunas cosas, pero lo que digo no es tan importante como lo que verás demostrado en este video. So as you can see, this can make some of your content a lot more accessible and easier to digest by others. You can also translate entire podcasts and then use the voice to publish these into other languages. And there we go. Let's make some minor changes. And now I'm ready to export my video clip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the top right where it says export and click on that. Here I can either remove the watermark by signing up for one of the premium versions or I can export the video as it is. I can also export the audio download the audio for my podcast. I can export the subtitles. Again, this is a premium feature and the text I can copy it to my clipboard or download the TXT file part of that premium version. Let's do both. Let's export the audio as well as the video. Let's start with the video. I'm going to click on download video. You can see it's exporting the media, adding on all those elements I've selected, cutting out the sections I no longer need and adding the subtitles down at the bottom. And there we go. We have our footage ready. You can see the video here at the top. We can press Hi. play. My name is Seti. Everything is included. At the bottom, we can download that video, link out to the video or embed it. We also have additional options. Again, these are those premium options to get the SRT files. At the bottom, we also see that text and it will go through the text as the video plays. I just want to say thank you to the Streamlabs podcast editor for sponsoring this video and giving us all access to an amazing free tool that is going to enable us to get started on editing our podcasts. Now, there will be a link down in the description as well as that first pinned comment where you can sign up and start using the Streamlabs podcast editor. 
As mentioned before, there is a free version available as well as some premium plans with additional features. Now, I look forward to hearing your feedback in that comment section below once you've started using it. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.